let's just pop out the chat. Chat's popped. And looks like we're live. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. We're on June 30th, 2019. Okay. 5 p.m. Pacific time, my time. And we're doing a live stream, uh, live stream on current events, uh, politics, economics, investing, whatever that comes up that's current events. Uh, and it's usually politics, economics related. There is some technology, biology, uh, a certain amount of environmental stuff that we talk about. Uh, but all of that it can be, all of it, everything can be fit under the umbrella of politics and economics right because everything is politics especially in these times since uh, politics and economics sort of working together as one word really sort of we've talked about this sort of space time there's no such thing as space by itself or time by itself there's only some one thing called space time and there's no such thing as politics by itself and economics by itself they're put together they function as one right now and right now according to sheldon wallen which chris hedges has been quoting over the years mentioning that we're living during a period where it's inverted totalitarianism where economics is trumping politics so all political decisions that may seem to be political decisions are have an economic base behind them good evening zari how are you doing and good evening everyone for sure or good morning or good late late morning if you're in europe uh, it is uh, what is it sunday no if it's sunday then uh, people shouldn't be partying out too long too late in canada maybe tomorrow is a holiday in canada uh, it's referred to by some as uh, by many as Canada Day, by some as Cannabis Day, right? And tomorrow we're gonna to do a live stream on the patio at 7 a.m. Hello, great lasagna, how are you doing? Long time no see, I was like, yeah, I was off, uh, I was off for about, I guess, 10 days now, or I don't know, nine days since we did the last stream. Starsky, how are you doing? It's Monday right now in England, early Monday morning. What time is it Monday? Monday, five, here so you're eight hours ahead uh, 1 a.m <laughs> thank you my math was failing me <laughs> i'm trying to do the calculation in my head it's just like what how many people how many how many people how many how many hours which way am i going right Fun. uh having some pomegranate liqueur it's gotten darker right delicious we're gonna do we got three more live streams set up right for this week tomorrow is uh, the patio live stream uh, I just went and got an extended cable check things out so we should have an okay connection Owen Ratty, hey Chicho, been a sub for a long time and love your content. Hope you're having a great day. You too, brother, you too. And thank you very much for being a sub and following the work. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I'm glad you're appreciating it. It's fun to do. It sometimes requires a lot of work. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to do a patio stream at 7 a.m. We're doing reading. Uh, Wilhelm Reich. I'm about how deep am I into this? I'm on page 125. By Wednesday, I might go a little deeper. And I just highlighted some stuff. So, what we're going to do is just going to go. We might even. What, I, what I've been thinking of doing is whoever is here from page one, you know, wherever we are to wherever we're going, people can say, turn to a certain page and read anything you've highlighted. All right. Have some fun with it and uh a mercy a mercy 
sensei. <laughs> I don't know if I would call me a sensei, brother. <laughs> or sister, of course. Double negative. Double O negative. You're not cooking. Why are you not cooking, Chicho? I, you know what? I was cooking about an hour and a half ago. <laughs> I just didn't stream it. I'm always cooking. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen, man. And I ate, I ate a little too much. That's why I'm drinking the... Not too much. I eat strong food. I'll tell you what I ended up eating. That's why I'm drinking pomegranate liqueur. It's like oof, heavy food, right? So I need to digest a little bit. Lonely piggy, how are you doing? Evening all. Glad I finally catch you, Lai Shicho. Glad to have you. Glad to have you. Which Wilhelm Reich book was that? Mass Psychology of Fascism. Mass psychology is very much related to what we're doing right now. We're just talking about current events, which usually ends up being politics and economics, right? Also, hi Chicho, hope all is well. Doing well, Silva, F S K. A brilliant book. Um, he goes off sometimes. Sometimes I don't know what he's talking about. Uh, he drops names, and I guess during the period. Uh, those people will, were well known, right? It's like someone 50 years from now dropping the name Paul Wolfowitz, right? Like right now, for me, if someone drops the name Paul Wolfowitz, I'll, I'll know exactly who they're referring to, what he did, and all that jazz, right? 50 years from now, not too many people are going to remember. Right now, if I drop the name Paul Wolfowitz, anybody that hasn't followed politics won't know who he is, right? So he drops a lot of names and events, um, but there are segments in mass psychology of fascism which are brilliant. Lick here is pure health. Quit literally, uh, quite literally as well. Yeah, Starsky. It's the pomegranate liqueur. I haven't had. I haven't had it for a while. It's phenomenal, really. cold hunter good morning afternoon evening night everyone and chicho and to you as well cold hunter uh and that's what we're going to do on wednesday we're going to read excerpts of this and on thursday we're going to look at some comic books i spent many hours yesterday <laughs> i went through i pulled out i got up sitting here uh I pulled out four short boxes of comics, four and a bit, out of going through 30 long boxes. So I was moving things around. It took me a few hours. And uh, the comics I pulled out are from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and 2010s. Okay. King Tom. King Tom, how are you doing? Glad I finally caught you. Glad to have you, King Tom always glad to have a king here All right uh so what we're going to do on thursday is i'm going to show you guys hey oka ok ok one ok, ok. i think i pronounced it better last time and i saw you on uh youtube by the way you pop by i forget what your handle is on youtube ok ok one okay okay one and uh those are the comics the comics that i pulled are the ones that slowly i'm going to start putting on ebay and selling and almost all of them i have copies uh extra copies of or extra copy of so i'm sort of lightening the load and raising we'll talk about it then right start collecting some data as well um, because what i want to do is uh, i want to start linking this stuff up with uh, economics right mathematics so we need some data we've got a lot of data on buying comics now we have to collect some data on selling comics, right? So it's going to be a multi, uh, it's going to serve multiple purposes. Nuclear risky. I have no idea what that says. Jake Rooker. Jake Rooker. Jake. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Thanks, brother. I'll try to remember. I'm crappy with names, so uh, I tend to forget. Hello, watched it for years, but never seen a live stream before. Suru, 
how are you doing <laughs> thank you for watching the content for years i've been i've been creating it for multiple years <laughs> nice to have you along they're fun to do i hope you uh, you like how we've grown and morphed and morphed and expanded our repertoire so apparently trump met with kim jong-un again I haven't looked much into it myself i saw the lonely piggy i saw the video it, it's a historic moment uh, right i mean he's stepped into north korea you know on the political front as far as meanings go it was pretty substantial pretty important uh, in regards to geopolitics don't worry about remembering my name glad to get to see another live stream hopefully i didn't come too late we just started we just started at 5 p.m like we just started 11 minutes ago and this is uh nicholas how are you doing this is a current events live stream so anything in the news we can talk about may it be politics economics whatever it might be or comics environment science technology if you know and you can inform me right i don't know i i can't i can't stay up with everything right i know certain stuff uh i'm pretty sure you know stuff that i don't so if you have important information that you think hasn't circulated well enough for sure share i think i'm going to go it's 1 a.m and i'm very tired take care Shicho. take care starsky thanks for popping by hope you have sweet dreams brother i appeared from nothing due to a quantum <laughs> fluctuation <laughs> be careful those same fluctuations can take you out right definitely important moment to be sure hopefully something good will come of it right time will tell time will tell time will tell uh, i like the important moments uh, the full direction though uh, we haven't changed direction right uh, so there's still lots of wars on the horizon oh that's such an ungodly time still online <laughs> luna is it it's for me it's in the afternoon it's like five uh, what is it five o'clock five p.m sunday afternoon nice chill day nice chill day well not so chill i've been doing a lot of stuff but nice to be chilling with you guys right now with the entire broad range of content your channel offers you should create your own alt streaming service called it mermaid streaming or something some such <laughs> oh funny with one content creator me i personally i would love to be an you know being an umbrella of creators that are creating content in a certain style that is geared towards education right specifically ideally the first thing i had in mind was what i was doing for 420 math it'd be amazing if someone started doing 420 physics 420 chemistry 420 biology 420 whatever right all of that mirroring their work that they're doing funneling money towards ending prohibition and stuff like this right uh, collaboration is the key uh, as as a solo operator we can all do our part but to really be able to move these goliaths these monopolies these these powers uh, away from the centralization from the direction they're going we need to be working collectively right it doesn't mean we always have to be in touch we have to have the collective image of pushing things in a certain direction a tiny bit of good but i'm outmatched by so much bad welcome to our world yeah i agree with you lonely piggy important moment it's good to 
make note of those important moments uh, I think those are really important there's a lot of important moments like what I deem to be important may not be important for other people right but uh, there are few there are like like the important moments in history in regards to politics and economics their frequency has been increasing exponentially right like 30 years ago you would have had one or two really important moments in a year right now you have one or two really important moments in like a week <laughs> right so it's like geez how do you stay on top of this thing which is part of the plan i think right there are crazy stuff going on your video how to make homemade liqueur inspired me to try strawberry one it's still in making but perhaps a few days from now it's time uh, for more tasted if it's successful i'll make bigger amount of it cool how long did you have it the strawberry that i made uh cinder cinder fan 35 cinder uh within 10 days the liqueur was absolutely amazing like it's the quickest uh batch i've made uh, it's the batch i've made that tasted amazing so quickly within two weeks it was better within a month it was just like oh my god we finished the whole batch we made like within like too soon really the strawberry one was amazing i'm gonna wait until well actually we do have fresh strawberry season right now so you know with with this season's strawberries i might buy frozen this season's frozen who knows but uh i do plan on making more strawberry crazy stuff almost every day agreed definitely hard to keep up with everything happening around the world good and bad agreed the good and bad like uh, i had one per person say it's been now one week today one week you could open it up and just pour a little bit into like a little glass have a little taste <laughs> uh, for the strawberries i was like oh it smelled good so tried it out uh, there's a lot of good happening i had one person comment that they were you know feeling down and stuff because it was so much bad and stuff like this they couldn't get a good night's sleep and stuff i said you know it's important to keep in mind there's amazing good stuff happening as well so that's really important to keep in mind i made 50 liters of raspberry gin last summer 50 liters plan on doing the same again this year 50 liters is a lot of gin <laughs> raspberry gin 50 liters silva 50 liters like a liter would be this much so 50 of these yeah a liter would be around this much oh yes i i saw a trump in north korea with kim jong-un handshaking hopefully a good sign hopefully a good sign hopefully it's not them calming down the north korea and then kicking up the middle east like it's sort of a tag team martin how are you doing just finished work 1 a.m 1 30 a.m someone from the uk just messaged 1 18 a.m uh but basically between the democrats and republicans uh they're tag team each other's one party really right uh but basically obama was more friendly towards iran more hostile towards north korea right and then trump comes in and trump is more friendly towards north korea more hostile towards iran right obama nuclear deal uh trump kills uh, obama you know harsh on uh, thank you for the support uh, lonely piggy uh, thank you for the cheers uh, obama harsh on korea trump all buddy buddy on korea right so it's crazy <clears throat> you got an emote thanks to lonely piggies mega cheer awesome yay we got a new emote we got a little box emote that's cool how do we use the box oh i guess we just got a hit on that let's see where's our box 
I don't see it. I haven't played around with these emotes too much. <laughs> Thanks for the balloons, lovely P. Thanks for the pride flag. Awesome, fun. fun. I need a lot to get through the summer. <laughs> Seriously, you made 50 liters. <laughs> Dude, that's a lot. <laughs> you must have a lot of friends you share with. It's too early for me to awake right now chicho so i think it's time for me to go to sleep okay sweet uh sweet dreams sweet dreams own own ratty sorry i couldn't be here longer have a good time everybody keep it up to it will do will do and sweet dreams to you for sure there are many people in north korea with not enough food yeah pretty accurate there's many people in the united states with not enough food not as much as North Korea, I don't think, percentage-wise anyway. But I don't know what the population of North Korea is. Numbers-wise, U.S. might beat North Korea if it's not percentage-wise. Pretty accurate assessment of the foreign policy of both presidents. Yeah, gaming anarchism. Okay, thanks. Wow, we got lots of multicolor stuff. Look at all these. Pride shine, pride party, pride flag. Pride balloons. <laughs> Have you seen Lobo and the? I did, dude. <laughs> that is current events. Comic books is current events. TV shows. If you are watching it, uh, Ru uh, Rupocalypse. Uh, initially, when Krypton started last year with season one, I watched like three episodes. I was like, oh, dude, I can't watch this. Like the dialogue was corny, and was, uh, I go there's. You know there's so much amazing stuff out there that i could read i could watch i could listen to i could create content and stuff like this even on my downtime you know read a book or just go for a walk that i decided not to watch it as soon as i saw lobo coming for season two i started watching i didn't even bother watching the rest of season one i watched season one of episode one two and three i think it's three episodes uh in with uh with krypton right and i think that's lobo's part is done with the third episode because that story was told and they zoomed back out initially i didn't know what to take i wasn't you know i wasn't expecting much but the third episode with lobo <laughs> doing his thing and zooming back up I, I liked it i didn't mind it i'm glad to see a live action lobo fantastic i hope you liked it what did you think about it it's really hard to know the extent of uh starvation as such in north korea there isn't any good uh any good sources no for sure for sure and uh we have a russian friend here i guess i don't know bex i don't know what that says in russian uh an automob grabbed it so i can't approve it because i don't read uh russian oh we got a little troll action coming oh a first ban yeah ban done doesn't exist how come he doesn't exist oh let's see if he does that's him ben. Boop. there we go <laughs> well, fun we don't have any mods here so i might spend some time modding right i've always wondered how much of what you're told about north korea is true how much of it is propaganda yeah agreed you ever read the u.n special repertoire report on extreme poverty in the u.s was an eye-opener for me i've 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 read i don't know if it was his stuff that i read uh but i read a fair bit and days of destruction days of revolt this is amazing chris edges uh and joe Sacco's days of destruction days of revolt uh it covers a fair bit okay it's pretty good so yeah poverty in the u.s is insane 
if Flint, Michigan, with the water supply, didn't wake people up, uh, then something's going on. You asked, he asked you to show him. You're in there. Imagine having this much free time to draw. Thanks, Silva. I'm gonna approve that so other people know. Uh, because the message got held, right? Oh, I shouldn't have added the permitted thing. Oh, maybe it's just this chat. So should we? Uh, are we supposed to ban? Beep. Oops. Beepex. Timeout. That's the Russian one, right? Should we time out? Time out. Time out. I was in uh, South Korea last year, and people there were breathing a lot more easily and optimistic, which I thought was funny because people back in the US were like, boo, Trump not doing anything. <laughs> Both on the street and the news, they were giving much credit to Trump for the north, uh, south, north thawing of hostilities and allowing avenues of negotiation. Yeah, he deserves the credit, right? Just because you have to acknowledge that someone you do not like, that's the thing with people, right? If they don't like someone, then anything they do is considered to be bad, which is insane, right? Which is what our news cycle is. It's insane, right? You have to give him credit. Thawing of relations. Now, is this just a tag team thing going on between the Democrats and the Republicans? I don't know. We'll find out. That is. In South Korea, they were giving the credit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Trump may actually con uh, contribute positively to the Korean situation. I think so too, Racer Kill. And he has. And he has. Right. I think that whether he intentionally wants to help the situation or if he's just using it as a grandstand, either way, it's making positive changes. Yeah. His intentions, Trump's intentions are for Trump, right? Trump and his empire, I guess, and his handlers or whoever it might be, right? Um, but I don't think. Uh, It doesn't seem like he's as as, uh, as much of a hardcore, ruthless mass murderer as Bush Sr., Clinton, Bush Jr., and Obama, right? He's dropped a lot of bombs, less so than Obama in eight years, I guess, but military war machine is you, you know we have to look at the graphs and the data to see you know what the ratios are right but you know people gave obama the peace prize they call they love him some people love him a lot of people love him it's weird he dropped way more bombs than bush jr right so it's weird to me he started three wars right trump doing a war with venezuela and that is a war economic war waging a war in iran it is a war it's an economic war and they already hit him with cyber viruses and stuff right so we're in flux right now we're not sure where things are but uh they would have been a by all accounts uh, and what Clinton was running on things could have been a lot worth worse okay Clinton would have had these Korean summits for sure Clinton wouldn't no Clinton wouldn't have no not by a long shot racer kill I agree with you I think the situation would have been a lot worse under Clinton than Obama as of right now right we'll see where things go right we'll see where things go I 
Have you ever watched the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003 series? I would recommend it for anyone who is a comic fan as it more more uh, darker plot to tell a story. Really, Shredder is one of the those villains who always seem to come back and say, Oh, I didn't know that. No, I haven't seen it. I know the original Ninja Turtles were brutal, right? But they toned it down to mass market it. I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you for that, Cyber. Sin, oh, not Cyber. Cinder. <laughs> Apologies about the mysteries. You just have to look at the live stream video from uh, Arang TV yesterday. The whole chat was full of South Koreans putting love and thanking Trump. They love him. Awesome. That's super cool, man. And I know a fair bit about South Koreans and their mentality. When I was going to university, I was roommates with a South Korean. I used to play poker, weekend poker sessions. Like seriously, start Friday uh, night, finish Sunday morning. Poker sessions with all Koreans. I went to Korean food, Korean rest, Korean park. Like I had a lot of Korean friends. Right. Korea has a certain mentality. They're very loyal. Uh, there's very harsh history there. Uh, they get drunk really fast. <laughs> They're not like the Japanese. Japanese can handle their alcohol. Korea uh, spirits anyway. Korea not so much right but yeah I'm, I'm pretty sure they're loving trump right now because they want unification koreans are very nationalistic very nationalistic i had friends korean friends when hyundai first came on the scene back in the early 90s when they could or late 80s early 90s i can't remember i was in university 90s whatever it was right uh as soon as they could get the money and the financing together there's no other car they would have bought they bought Hyundai right because that was Korean they want unification they want Korea as one country there's no doubt right King Canada gaming how are you doing hey Chicho just checking in much love to you and chat be well on be well King Canada thanks for popping by well, funny thing, Obama got a Nobel Peace Prize despite signing off on drone strikes killing of another Nobel Peace Prize recipient. But for anything, anything Trump has done for Korea situation, probably won't see a Peace Prize. Yeah, which, uh, uh, which Nobel, uh, he drone the Nobel Peace Prize winner, previous Nobel Peace Prize winner. Who was that? I missed that. I know he, he killed an American teenager, two of the early people that he killed, an American citizen without trial, and the American citizen's son, a teenager, 14-year-old, without trial, sitting in a cafe with a whole bunch of other kids, teenager. Like, the guy used to wake up in the morning, Obama used to wake up in the morning, and he had a kill list, right? From what I understand, from all accounts, he got up, he went through a kill list and approved killings in the morning. That's what Obama did every day of his eight years of presidency. As far as I know, or as far as we know, Trump doesn't have this kill list, right? It says a lot. 35 times I've been booping. I shouldn't boop in public. That's rude. That was the whole negative. Well, they've had so many years of tensions rising and now it feels like it has calmed and is moving in the best direction for both countries i'd love him to if i was in if i was south korean yeah talking about uh, korean loyalty there was that poll i saw which was posed uh, posed to south koreans a uh, question along the lines of who would you want to side with in a u.s declared war in north korea uh, in if the US declared war on North Korea and most South Koreans said side with North Korea over US I don't doubt it right many of the South Koreans that uh, friends that I had as early 1990s right they wanted US United States out of their country the military base is gone they didn't like it that's back in the 90s 
lonely piggy all right i'm off as well super happy to have caught you live even though i could only stay for a bit have a good stream a sweet dreams sweet dreams if you're going to sleep lonely piggy and by the way thank you for uh the cheers thank you for the support brother okay and thank you for popping by kill me you still there just leaving i mean you gifted a tier one sub to lonely piggy they've given two good thanks awesome awesome oka oka one thank you for gifting the subs Oh snap! He's <laughs> awesome. So, uh, that's a good parting gift. That's a good parting gift. As I recall, when there was that drone strike on one of the hospitals in the Middle East that Obama signed off on, one of the people killed in the drone strike was a doctor. Oh, Doctors Without Borders that's right person who was also a Nobel Prize winner in in like biology it wasn't an international casualty but it still happened oh yes that's right I remember Obama oh the the number of yeah, it is insane like it, you talk to people about this and people who love Obama they're oblivious to it it's just a, to me it's just crazy well no i'm definitely leaving even happier <laughs> lonely piggy says <laughs> have a good day piggy okaka says i think it was doctors without borders doctors without borders yeah yeah i forgot there's i was i was following that stuff very meticulously for in the build-up uh, to the afghan war uh, pre 9 11 really back in 1999 because things were shifting there's something happening back then uh, you could see it in the data coming in from 1999 all the way to uh, 2012 13 or something i kept really close tab on what was being done and that's when i wrote the last article i did strictly geopolitical article on my blog saying this will be my last strictly geopolitical because it's pretty much laid out where we're going I just think it's incredible that it was for uh, extraordinary efforts to strengthen international diplomacy and cooperation between people. Oh, that's what he got the Nobel Peace Prize for. <laughs> and that was before he did anything. They gave it to him. I heard later on, people were like, later on, the Nobel laureates, uh, Peace Prize, people cast their vote. They said, well, they were trying to encourage him to be a peaceful president it's like it what <laughs> you give a warmonger a peace for prize uh, in the hopes that he'll take that peace prize seriously and not wage war crazy so yeah nobel peace prize winner responsible for the death of another nobel peace prize wow the irony the irony the irony peace prize laugh out loud yeah and starting three wars annihilation of a whole country more than one whole country three countries really complete annihilation of libya complete annihilation of yemen and the attempted complete annihilation of syria those are all obama right and because he was a commander in chief, he's the top person in charge, supposedly in charge. He bears full responsibility. So does Clintons and all the other jokers. Obama got the Peace Prize after one year in office. Was it one year in office? Racer kill? I thought he got the Peace Prize right off the bat. Didn't he? If he got the Peace Prize one year in office, then whatever the nobel committee says that they were hoping that he was not going to wage war is ridiculous that's you can dismiss their their argument on it because he was already assassinating people one year in okay i'm gonna go eat dinner and finish putting up my uh, blinds and finish pressure washing <laughs> have a great day another everyone
you too you too Akan. thank you again for gifting a sub uh, very much appreciated you sent someone to bed to go to sleep very very happy and gifted a sub to my channel thank you very much actually half a year so six months in eh? okay people were still hoping remember the catchphrase was hope 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 if there's no action behind the hope then it's worth nothing right you can't just hope if you're out of shape and if you want to get into shape you can't just sit there and hope to get in shape you actually have to do something to get in shape before I go what are you drinking <laughs> I got three drinks here I'm mixing it up I'm drinking Persian tea okay just I call it Persian tea but it's like it's like dark uh, either Earl Grey or cyan or uh, orange pico or whatever just blends of stuff this is electrolytes uh, like a powder that I add to water it's just really hot here right now and I've already went out for a two-hour walk where I sweated and yesterday I was like literally I was going through boxes moving long boxes and I was sweating it was like through 30 boxes <laughs> not sweating but I was exerting myself eggs how are you doing so this is electrolytes it's very refreshing and one reason I'm drinking that is because I ate some uh, pasta I made with uh, shallots and yogurt with lots of greens and herbs very strong so I'm thirsty and this one is pomegranate liqueur that we made during a, a liqueur video that we put together uh, it's probably six months old now so I got three drinks going And the pomegranates you can when you drink the seeds in there if you can see them they come in too and you can bite them and the seeds retain the alcohol flavor really strong <laughs> oh snap i love those videos <laughs> good 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 racer kill such an embarrassment yeah obama it's 1 41 a.m here and i'm uh, and I'm sweating in the UK it's that hot in the UK right now that's right Europe is being hit with a major heat wave isn't it same with India like one of the most crazy muses I've heard is uh, I, I've been keeping track of this this became evident in the early 2000s that water wars are going to be breaking out in a big way and some of the wars that we're in right now are water related but there was a documentary I watched it was about Kashmir uh, saying that there's gonna be serious water wars taking place between Pakistan China and India over Kashmir because that's about water and one of the news that came out was India's sixth largest city is running out of water or has already run out of water and I believe Mumbai was gonna run out of water by 2020 or 2021 we're talking major cities in India running out of water in the next couple of years we're talking tens of millions of people uh, that are going to be affected this is gigantic like wow holy keep an eye out like things might get really really rough in those in that region i honestly believe if we had uh, some sort of uh, device that could allow us to manipulate events throughout time we would uh, we could swap uh, trump first four years ongoing with obama's final four <laughs> trump would be seen as an evil warmonger yeah the evil warmonger determined to completely obliterate regions throughout the world and Obama would be seen as a president fighting for peace and prosperity putting the American population for Silva 100% agreed 100% agreed 
and that says a lot about who rules the united states or the western world really because this isn't a western world this isn't the uh, specific uh, uh, only uh, the perspective that americans would have right this is a perspective that the western world would have us in canada and europe and stuff right which is absurd absurd right absurd and on the same level if you switch up obama and bush do the same thing they'll both be considered warmongers right it's crazy so that's the level that people say where do you consider trump to be not a mass murderer yet like bush jr and obama and the rest but i guess that's how the media deceives us yeah malcolm x said it if you're not careful uh the the news organizations will get you or the media will get you to will get you i'm paraphrasing of course will get you to hate the people that are being oppressed and love the people that are doing the oppressing right persian tea sounds good but i'm a fan of tea earl gray hot yeah king canada this is sort of earl grayish some of the blends that i buy i mix it up there's different blends you can buy uh sometimes they're earl grayish this one i think it's uh i don't know how to pronounce it cyan cayenne it's not cayenne it's not cayenne pepper but cyan cyan and another tea i don't know if it's earl gray hot i'm in newcastle england and it's fucking <laughs> freezing right now really so newcastle's cold and martin i believe is in london and london's hot wow i actually watched that video you're talking about if it was the one that was seven months ago probably seven months ago we make the pomegranates i think so i think we made pomegranates then maybe did i make pomegranates in that video or is that the one where we made uh strawberry strawberry cherry and uh, blueberry Okok, oh, Okok, is that the strawberry tree? Uh, pomegranates I might have made later. I don't know. Oh, I did the follow up. That's right. I made the one, one of the ones, the first one we made uh, strawberry, cherry, and blueberry. And then I did a follow up where we made the pomegranates. That's right. That's right. This is that one, if you've seen that one. Times man of the year have chosen some dodgy winners yeah or was it the one four months ago it might have been the one four months ago i don't know oh it was the one that was four months ago i only watched three quarters of that video but i did watch it cool cool i highly recommend the pomegranate liqueur is super delicious i'm in birmingham a bit further south Ah, okay oh birmingham bit, so you're further south than uh, newcastle i think the other one was the entire indian subcontinent india pakistan bangladesh they're all in a bad way for water in the coming decades they just have too many people and it could get worse with possible climate climate change yeah sure and one of the things it's not just about the people it's about the rights that they've given to the corporations there's countless stories of coke or pepsi or well, this company setting up shop right a factory in an area in india sending them down their uh, wells and just sucking up water just using water 24 7 and the groundwater starts dropping right all of a sudden all of these wells are going dry and people are without water and the only place you can get water is like miles kilometers down the road where the groundwater table is still going up right so as soon as you set up a factory pumping out water right below it it acts as a sink right it drops the groundwater for kilometers tens of kilometers all the way around that factory so all those people are without water and they have to go around and stuff like this it, it, it's overpopulation it's the rights given to corporations is in environmental 
just destruction, right? Uh, obviously, there's uh, climate effects playing into the game, changes taking place and stuff like that. Uh, mismanagement, right? Man of the year is an award. Uh, isn't an award decided on moral reasons no no man of the year no and why not right how come like obviously the nobel peace prize is not given out to people based on moral decisions as well right definitely not right kissinger got it right so nobel peace prize isn't man of the year is it is a time magazine is just garbage anyway right so uh you know journalists journalistic awards the closest thing i get on a moralistic basis when it comes to giving out awards to is uh journalistic awards right for putting their lives on the line to report on something and we know how journalists are treated in the Western world, right? Take a look at Julian Assange. Wade's, Wade, SX, SW, Wade's, XX, Rid. I can't even pronounce that. I don't know. Wade's, Wade's, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Very much appreciated. Subscribe for two months. Wow, you can subscribe for a couple of months. That's cool. Oh yeah, this is the second month in a row. That's what you're doing. <laughs> Thank you for the song. <sighs> oh, all Earl Grey is orange pico and bergamot. Ber uh, Bergma bergamot is it? That's crazy cool. I didn't know that. Thanks, King Canada. So I guess this could be Earl Grey because it says. Uh, I think on one of the ones I'm drinking is orange pico on uh, something. That's cool. Have you seen that video before showing 36 different perspectives from local news? To, yeah, all reading exact same thing ver verbatim. Yeah, Silva. There's a few of them out, right? And like it, I've been following news for a long time, man. Uh, and I, I've been meaning to put out a video uh, regarding how I acquired my perspective on what the news was, right? And I did that like crazy, like when I was 10, 11 years old, because we came from Iran and Iran hostage stuff was taking place, and the news was saying this about Iran, but it had just come from Iran. And and then once I started learning English and understanding what they were saying, I was like, wait a second, what? <laughs> like, it was crazy, it was crazy. And then I learned about, uh, through a friend or through someone acquaintance uh, from Ireland about uh, how the news was, uh, was portraying the, uh, the IRA and the British and this and that. And then a few other and Beirut when the tanks were lined up in uh, Lebanon, Israeli tank like that was insane. Like that, I will never ever in my life. I can honestly tell you this: I will never in my life forget about those images of Israeli tanks sitting on hilltops with their guns pointed towards Beirut and bombarding the city a suburb of the city right wow 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 there was a lot of things that happened in the 1980s it was insane i'm really enjoying the women's world cup it's england versus united states for the first semi-final nice who's the who's in the other semi-final martin that would be a crazy game it, the, the u.s team is very strong i've heard some news stuff about it. i haven't had a chance to watch any of it uh, but uh, I heard the U.S. is kicking ass. I'm assuming it might be Brazil, Germany or something. Newcastle. I knew an older gent from Newcastle. Very friendly. Uh, cheer, uh, cheery guy. But when he got drunk, he'd get depressed. And to cheers. Always like, but 
why didn't the Germans bomb Newcastle? What? Like he was personally offended. His hometown wasn't important enough. A target in World War II. <laughs> Damn. Talk about survivor, survival, uh, survivor guilt or something. That's crazy. Sir, uh, wait, really? You should probably read about the Newcastle Blitz. I think he was a little uninformed. I think he meant as much as a, a say London. Wow, that's weird. So he's upset we weren't bought more. Maybe you should put down the drink. <laughs> yeah i think so i guess one of those my hometown is the best in the world fellas netherlands versus sweden really is the other semi-final wow netherlands versus sweden crazy who's the money on i think uh us is favorite uh, by big margins but between netherlands and sweden have you ever visited the uk no i visited the not the uk I've been to Ireland uh, when I was in uh, I went and trekked around Europe uh, sort of backpacking through numerous countries for like three months two and a half to three months right and what I did was uh, bought a two-year uh, Euro pass so I went to Spain I spent some time in Spain and when I was coming out of Spain I bought a Euro pass right or I bought a Euro pass from a certain active date anyway I bought it from Canada but in 1998 uh, Euro pass and you, for those that don't know Euro pass is basically a pass you could have bought up probably if still available uh, where you could travel all European country or any European country that is has agreed to this to um, to accept the Euro pass right so you can travel by train to all the destinations right so you don't have to buy individual tickets you just go to the counter show them your Euro pass and you get your ticket sometimes you pay a little extra fee right but at the time the uk did not accept the euro pass so i went to paris and I, you know I, I was limited on funds so from paris i how did i get to ireland i must have flown to ireland it would think it was really cheap i think i took the euro pass euro pass to a city that I could fly out of to go to Ireland uh, maybe it was in Germany I went flew anyway I made my way to Ireland and I spent some time in Ireland uh, because they accepted the Euro pass so you know I went to Dublin and I went to Cork and you know tracked around a little bit and went to Belfast that was cool I really want to go see Belfast hey Chicho Arthene, how are you doing? Listening while I clean. Good to see you. Good to see you too as well, Arthene. Thank you for popping by. Swam to Ireland. <laughs> the North Sea, very, very cold. Or is the, what's the, what's the strait called? Gibraltar? No, Gibraltar is further down. Uh, I forget what the strait is called there. I should know through diplomacy, the game of diplomacy us are the favorites against england and netherlands are the favorites against sweden okay i won't lie and say women's football has excited me as much as men's but the whole us versus england has me buzzing cool cool i i have watched women's uh, world cup in the past a few times uh, but yeah it doesn't excite me either as much as the men's world cup if it was here i would go see some games in 1999 i visited your neck of the woods to watch the great cup cool bc is the most beautiful place i ever visited grass mountain wow yeah bc is beautiful and canada all of canada is beautiful really i've been to many parts of canada um, england will triumph martin says <laughs> isle of man is that the isle of man the the strait that's between uh, no not not the isle of man that's the isle of man is uh england and uh what do you call it uh, uh ireland right i'm thinking about the the channel between Fran france and uh, uk uh, 
what's it called i forget what it's called um, as far as uh, canada goes every place in canada nature wise canada is absolutely beautiful right however bc has one thing it's just a channel is that what it's called isn't it no it's just gotta have a name Suru, Suru, Suru. it's gotta have a channel islands is that what it's called martin the english channel the english channel of course the english channel right thanks weights frenchies call it the french channel too funny too funny it's also called the english channel in the board game diplomacy as well for some reason i thought it was called some, something else like the asian sea or something like this right the asian being in the down south english channel and the strait of dover yeah okay cool cool uh what was i going off on oh yeah nature in canada all across canada nature is beautiful however there's a plus side to being on the west coast of canada the mosquitoes are only this big and they don't suck you dry if you go interior bc east of the rockies the mosquitoes for some reason just grow in size a little bit and the black flies come out and black flies can take chunks out of you especially in labrador and up north up north black flies and mosquitoes are crazy they're huge right uh so in the west coast of bc at night time you can sit outside without mosquito protection right do you teach physics and, and math i teach mainly mathematics and i do teach physics as well uh, there are certain topics of physics that i'm not good at i tell my students right off the bat i go look i'm not good at this part this section this chapter so i say it's on you we'll work on it together you know i have to make my way through the problem especially the complicated ones right because i don't know the units i'm not familiar with the units right so physics is really all about units whatever it is you're talking about whatever system you're looking at everything before that is the mathematics right so i do teach mathematics and physics black flies <laughs> was that the was that the, that was an ambulance that drove by we're really close to the hospital uh, like walking wise it's like 15 minutes of walking riding a bike you're there in like two minutes three minutes driving you're there in like same time probably two minutes three minutes there's a funny bit on uh on youtube about it the black fly song <laughs> i've never seen it i'll try to remember to look it up oh you try to submit a link uh suru suru uh if you want to submit links we have a discord page if you go to the discord page uh we have different folders that you can submit something and if you don't if you see if you don't see uh, a folder that you want to submit content to just make a comment in general and either me or one of the subs uh, one of the mods will uh, create that folder right uh, if you submit it there maybe in music the black fly song i think you would have been a uh, big help for me with math uh, as it was never my strength physics only when it comes to certain aerodynamics uh of motor motorsports cool yeah i can honestly tell you if you struggled in high school mathematics i could have helped you a lot straight out just because i know i've helped out a lot of people uh, you know people who are getting like in the teens you know like, you know 15 16 17 getting them to understand mathematics and to a level where in grade 12 they're taking math 12 and physics 12 right it's just a system it's not that you didn't understand mathematics it's that the system is horrendous and it didn't do it it, it didn't teach you math right just looked up lobo and krypton 
think I have to watch it. Also, didn't know he was. Nah, he was not old. <laughs> yeah, Lobo, man. If they ever do Lobo right, and this one was fun. It added the humor, which was good, right? If they ever put out a movie that does the last Zarnian justice, and that's a Lobo mini series that came out in nineteen nineties. Uh, 1990 I believe 1990 and 1991 is a four issue miniseries if they ever turn that into a movie and they do it justice Lobo will be one of the most popular I, I, you can't call him a hero because he's an he's a anti-hero or uh, he's neither a hero nor a villain he just is <laughs> uh, like ever He'll surpass Spider-Man as most popular or Batman or whatever, because it's brilliant. Do you support a football soccer team? Um, do I? I used to. I used to. Brother, I, I used to. I went to my, uh, I, I wouldn't say peak, but the highlight of my soccer football fandom was I went to the 1994 world cup okay in the united states and i went and saw 11 games starting from round one the round robin and i went and saw as many of the second round games as possible the quarterfinal whatever it was and i even went and saw the final with brazil and italy i went and saw third and fourth place i went and saw the semi-final uh, so i i went and saw 11 games i spent a month in california uh, in 1994 world cup i still have the ticket stubs for them and i have amazing souvenir from the 1994 world cup that i will show you guys one day if you're a soccer fan <laughs> you'll go you did what <laughs> sort of sort of sort of it's not that bad it's not that bad there was a mother and a sister involved too. They were, we did it as a family. <laughs> Have you been following the recent events that took place in Poland, uh, Portland, Oregon? Is that the psilocybin? They're trying to legalize psilocybin. Uh, if not, I don't think so. If you tell me what the event is, I might have heard about it. Didn't know where it was. Oh, the cement milkshakes. Is that in Portland, Oregon? I thought that was in the UK, where they have videos showing people pouring whatever chemical it is into these jars. Is that the cement milkshakes? That's crazy. I thought it was in the UK. I like Sil uh, Silva, just to let you know where I stand, right? Let me make sure this is the case. Uh, I hear they're making he-man in into a movie no way again please be better than the 1987 one please please he, that being said it was fun getting that one too really but please be better please be better it's pretty nasty the cement is highly uh basic so it causes chemical oh it is ph basic that is wow wow sounds awesome you look like a kind of terror <laughs> funny funny cracker if your world <laughs> revolves around seeing people with facial hair and thinking they look like who you th who you've been programmed to think to associate them with man you gotta you gotta expand beyond your little bubble that's a nasty little bubble you put yourself in a caring but explosive man okay i'll take that <laughs> i thought it was like oregon antifa was it i i don't know if it was antifa from what understanding i thought it was i well i'll tell you where you know it shows you where where i was right i thought it was in the uk because i uh, i've seen the videos uh, of people throwing uh, the milkshake and the pictures uh, on the on the brexit party and stuff in the uk a caring a caring but explosive i read that and by the way uh, uh 
Fanny Cracker. I am a caring, but I am, I could be. Uh, can, some people consider me a little explosive if, if they push me out too hard. <laughs> I just find it ironic that a branch of the progressive left calling themselves Antifa thought it'd be a good idea to attack, beat, and hospitalize a gay Asian journalist, leaving him in a brain hemorrhage during Pride Month. Is that what they did, Silva? Insane. But and that's the direction Antifa. Antifa is fascist. They say they're supposed to be anti-fascist, but their tactics are fascist. They are fascists. I, I don't care it, 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 whoever that says they're not. They don't know what fascism is, right? It was Antifa, crazy, right? But they've been doing that. Like those Antifas, those people that come out, they say it's okay to punch people in the face, punch fascists in the face. They're being fascists. It's not okay to punch people in the face for saying anything, right? That's being fascist. Like, I think they're losing that loop. In the UK, they're uh, chucking milkshake, milkshakes at people. But normal make sure just just to make fun of them yeah that's the one i know i just assume they went more hardcore right in oregon though recently the antifas are doing cement milkshakes a new nasty weapon crazy arrest them uh at least i think it's not the case could be mistaken tick tock boom maverick maverick Does this fascism you talk about refer to Mussolini's idea? Um, Antifa doesn't realize that they're just the branch of like what they're doing. If they're throwing cement, cement milkshakes at people, they're just basically the strong arm of the corporate fascists, right? Because they're doing the bidding of centralized power. Because once you start using violence on that level, right? At some point that violence is going to come back on you few orders of magnitude higher right because you're taking out centralized power to a certain degree okay even if you don't know it even if that centralized power is supporting your actions they will come back once once they get you to do their dirty work for them they'll turn their guns on you right so is, is it corporate fascism? It's the brut brutality of the corporate fascism. No, oh, Maverick. What I'm going to do, going to be timing you out, brother. Because I can honestly tell you, Ah, the hell with it. We're banning you. You're out. <laughs> That's Chicho fascism. <laughs> My house. <laughs> right? Or our house. If anyone thinks I shouldn't have banned him, let me know. I'll de ban him. Fanny Cracker. I'm just going to tie you out. Oh, can I grab your thing? Think. Let me grab you. Time you out. Let's see. Time out. Twink. Time out. <laughs> hey, this is great. <laughs> let's, let's out some frustrations. Oh, so they can walk around with them without the cops thinking it's wrong. Now they're going to start banning anyone ha con having containers and rallies, right? It's crazy. UK is still waiting on a new prime minister, but there still isn't a good choice. Yeah, uh, Boris Johnson is not a good choice. <laughs> but who else? The other, the other lackey, corporate lackey. But when they uh, chuck it at people, surprise, it's not milkshake. And you may have to go to the hospital with burns. Crazy. So a cup that looks like something else, but is full of cement to throw at people. Well, oop. there we go. Well, it's like a normal milkshake cup, 
Like you said, but it's filled with cement liquid. Okay. When they try to teach you with the ban hammer. X is laughing. He's like, yeah. Your house, your rules. You sent the troll to the gala gulag yell off of their heads. Two bands. These late night sessions are brutal, Martin. I know. <laughs> Too funny. Up time. Oh, what are we on? We're four hours. Oh, man. We've already been going for an hour, an hour and a bit. It's quick dry. Oh, it's quick dry cement. So, oh, God damn it. Mixed with a milkshake. They're doing this because the longer cement stays in the milkshake, the more damaging the burn can be. Even if you wash it off, it can give you an alkaline burn, which gets worse over time, extending deeper into skin tissue with potential to damage muscle. Are you serious? Where's my band button? Get band those dingalings. Second time lucky. Nicholas, yeah, Nicholas, second time Frank. <laughs> Exclamation mark. I thought you had gone to bed. <laughs> yeah, basic burn are worse than acid burns. Basic burns are worse than acid burns, really? I didn't know about that. Really? Basic burn is worse than acid burn? Crazy. I should have paid more attention in chemistry. That's one thing for sure. Acid burns you notice right away. Ah, that's why. Base burns you don't exactly realize till later when it's worse and the damage is done. Oh, crap. What would you do? I don't know what I would do. First of all, you would have to f catch the person, right? That did that. And if you caught them, what would you do? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know. Mm. I'll mention this. She's uh, Oddmic is not here. Oddmic recommended um, uh, an anime series in a previous stream. It's called. Uh, we got the name oh i'll have to look it up again poopers goober uh, but it's a great series when on mix here i'll ask her i'll mention it to you guys give me a drink oh there a milkshake in minecraft i'm not making in real life threats of course give them a drink of their milkshake in minecraft yeah that would kill them wouldn't it no you don't want to kill them I don't want to kill people that just makes you a killer it's not good it's that you dad remember you left me no I didn't leave you I went to <laughs> to work <laughs> gulags actually are our thing no longer around but I've seen where KGB took people before they would be sent somewhere or released with paper that says not no threat to USSR wow cool cinder yeah I've read some of the history on uh, what happened after World War two specifically after World War two uh, because a lot of people assume that 1944 the war ended the war really a lot of death and destruction took place after that behind the iron curtain right and in other places as well i don't like the way this is going either uh it seems like a tactic to create chaos the mayor had police stand down which allowed this uh, to unfold but see my question silva as soon as i hear this is were they agent provocateurs were they the police pretending to be antifa throwing the acid on people all right or the cement on people i'm going to get to a point where they're having a mini civil war on the streets i think the civil war to a certain degree has already started silva that's my take 
uh, that's one thing I mentioned I've been mentioning to people for a couple of years now that it, the, the United States is already in a civil war actually a little bit longer thereby destroying each other's points that they're trying to make yeah or one of the purposes for this might be to only bring in the extremes to make make it look like whatever party whatever group there's in the game is an extremist right so anyone moderate will just step back and let the government run amok or the corporations run amok because the other choice would be to let these lunatics run amok right so they could be agent provocateurs isn't that like the third time now in Port, uh, portland antifa acting up and the cops were told to stand down see here's the thing with portland portland's supposed to be one of progressive progressive cities right uh like i've been to portland a few times i saw the string cheese incident concert in portland on new year's eve i learned how to hula hoop at a string cheese concert incident in the 90s right uh very progressive it was progressive back then and it's more so progressive so is it possible that uh, there are certain centralized powers that don't want uh, that center core of understanding to take place or is it that they've gone down the dark road right what do you think is the biggest issue in u.s pol uh, politics uh, and do you think that the uh, that reflects in canada or is or is this something different yeah uh our thing the biggest issue in u.s politics is u.s foreign policy by far and beyond like it dwarfs anything else okay the biggest issue that as far as i'm concerned everyone in canada as well should be paying attention to is western foreign policy if specifically if you're in the u.s u.s foreign policy interventionalism has been the norm has been the game that's being has been being played for the last century really right if in the united states the non-interventionalist mindset can get a foothold where all of a sudden you see the united states closing military bases around the globe right and taking those funds those resources that energy that training right and bringing it inward and building u.s domestic uh, infrastructure uh, industry healthcare education just take all of those resources and just funnel it back right and this has to be done rapidly because as soon as you lose you close the united states closes the military bases around the globe they're going to lose client states right dictators they put into power uh, governments they have overthrown covert operations that they're doing either in that country or using those bases as satellite bases to create chaos around the globe right so that chaos is going to take a little bit of time to sort itself out right anywhere between 5 to 15 years right so in about 5 to 15 10 15 20 years down the road you're going to start seeing the repercussions of the united states closing the military bases where you know on the most extreme front would be you the saudi arabia starts selling oil in other currency but as soon as u.s pulls a sport the house of saud is gone anyway right so there'll be a short period of a few years where the united states can take all of those funds that it's spending around the globe on a scorched earth mentality where if any nation doesn't abide by the will of the united states they'll burn it down right take all of that energy all of that money all of those resources and focus it internally within five to ten years you're going to see a new make it longer five to fifteen years and about the same time span it's going to take for the 
business opportunities to disappear right new opportunities will come up right if it's done properly the United States will remain the top of the food chain in regards to global economics right even though they may lose a certain amount of their political power war waging power right influence but economically it will be number one it will remain number one if it continues on the road that is continuing on right now it's on a downward spiral downwards trend let's say it's not a spiral yet it's on a downwards trend right the center of economic power is moving towards the east and within third 20 20 30 40 years uh united states is going to be a wreck compared to what it used to be 20 years ago okay u.s foreign policy is the number one issue for the united states for these elections the only people that matter that have the best intentions of american citizens in mind are those politicians who are setting their platform on non-interventionalism period okay that's it everything else is irrelevant it's, it's just a trickle did i mention i was in berlin 1989 wow i still have a piece of the wall you still have a piece of the wall that's awesome martin very cool that that's etched in my mind too people breaking the bricks down and stuff i went to berlin i walked around in uh 98 and there was like sections of the wall you know small sections uh still up that's super cool that must have been a party and a half martin i can't even imagine what that party was like like i was there i was cheering for brazil to win the 94 world cup right and i was there in la partying with the latino community right and in san francisco partying with the brazilians right that was phenomenal oh what a party that would have been nothing compared to what uh, berlin was in 1989. hey chicho how do you like tosi i love tors oh, I, I can't say love i love what i've heard of Tulsi so far uh, I've watched some I've watched a couple of lectures she's given I've read a couple of things more than a couple of things she's written okay and I've watched some sound bites of her right I saw parts of her with Joe Rogan and stuff like this Tulsi is head and shoulders above everyone else except Mike Gravel Mike Gravel and Tulsi are on the same footing Mike Gravel is wiser, okay. Mike Mike Gravel, I hope I'm pronouncing the name correctly, is uh, knows the game better than Tulsi, okay. Tulsi has good intentions, from what I can tell. If my thing would be, if on the same on the same level as a major improvement to U.S. Uh, political situation would have happened if Ron Paul and Dennis Kucinich would have parted ways from the Democratic and the Republican parties and formed their own party and they had ran uh, in two at least two presidential elections they could have run together they had so much in common they disagreed on extremes but they had so much in common right if they had ran together if they had formed the party and ran as independents political situation in the United States would have been a lot different now than it is at present right on the same front if Tulsi and uh, Mike Gravel separate run as independents US political landscape will be dramatically changed in the next elections and in future elections okay important agree that's what makes Tulsi appealing yeah yang 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 too got to go chicho 
so peachy 13 so so poichy 13 have a nice evening you too you too enjoy your evening sweet dreams if you're going to sleep do you speak any other languages yeah i speak two other languages not very well though i could only read and write english uh, and english is by far the best language i know but i also speak uh, uh, farsi iranian farsi and armenian hello spider beans how are you doing welcome to the live stream i really like her anti-interventionist policy yeah that's the main thing i focused on uh, yeah anti-intervention uh, against prohibition against censorship she's pro second amendment which will automatically disqualify her current to the left from across the pond it looks looks to me like it's a straight race between biden and sanders and uh, biden is more horrendous than sanders biden is just uh, biden is not going to win uh, biden if biden gets into power it means the election was rigged on the level of the dnc elections in the when sanders and clinton were running against each other and we're really running against each other right biden is like really it, it's, a, it's, a, it's 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 nobody the guy's a joke okay sanders is he won't win neither of them will be trump i'm currently running at the gym so this is perfect i listen to haha <laughs> nice hope you have a good workout i'm gonna start in the gym soon too and i'm gonna start taking weights to the, to the to the beach to do some exercise while i'm doing some writing some work <laughs> i did it again 16 times i'm doing it I'm duping everywhere i really hope biden doesn't he this and that's coming from a kind of democrat i if i was a democrat and the choice was biden or a turd or the devil or a vegetable or anything <laughs> i wouldn't vote all of those before biden and if if they put a gun to my head and said you cannot choose anybody else i would just scratch it just destroy the ballot i would never vote biden that's crazy biden is too prone to gaffes which is perfect for trump in debates and biden is disgusting sanders was good until he started pandering to the fat left yeah yeah sanders was good king canada i agree with you and then he betrayed his core he betrayed he rolled over like a good little boy right he threw his weight behind him mass murdering war criminal right and people say he had no choice i'm sorry assume you're biden you have one person here as hillary hillary clinton you know is a mass murdering war criminal mass murdering war criminal is talking tough against the next nuclear power in the world saying that she would go to war with russia so you have clinton mass murdering war criminal that is saying that he's going to go to war with russia a nuclear power that can just russia won't take it right and then on this side you got a trump which is a trump right he's cares about real estate money he lies he cheats he he's this he's this people say he's misogynist people say this piece of people say this right and you put your weight towards your backing towards a mass murdering war criminal that's your morals as sanders he should have said i refuse to participate in this charade okay i'm forming my own party and i'm gonna run for president i know i'm not going to win but there's no way i'm going to say this mass murdering war criminal would be better than your typical multi-millionaire 
I don't want to say typical. They're they're. I guess yeah. I don't want to use derogatory terms and stuff, but Trump, right? Really, that's what Sanders chose. Nope, not getting my vote. Not that I can vote. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I don't believe anyone currently can beat Trump. I don't think so. When Trump won, I, you know, I was talking with people and stuff. I said, "Look, man, the guy's gonna do two terms. The guy's gonna do two terms." The Democrats are corrupt. They are so corrupt. They're evil, man. Okay. Not that the other ones aren't. Right? But in the elections, you saw what it was. I think Sanders would have won against Trump in 2016. Racer kill? I think so, too. There are many who aren't loyal to a party but want a non-establishment president and a part of this population would have voted Sanders over Trump. 100%. I, I'm racer kill. I'm 100% agree with you. Sanders would have beat Trump. So Obama's legacy, everyone says, oh, what's Obama's legacy? Obama's legacy is Trump. Okay. That's Obama's legacy. Okay. The Democrats put Trump in power. And they're all happy about it look the stock market went up they're making mint there's more wars coming or they're trying to start more wars or they are doing more wars sanctions or wars Tulsi is the best hope for America yeah and Mike gravel man we need moderates even in Canada agreed King Canada we need moderates we need people that don't do crap around the globe our foreign policy is the most important thing like Sanders better than Trump though but he won't win I feel like Sanders could have stood a good chance against Trump yeah spider he would have won in 2016 I, I don't have a doubt they would have won running against them now after he folded and supported a war crime he's not gonna win no way Sanders could have turned against Hillary if couldn't turn against her if he did he'd have committed literal suicide <laughs> yeah he would have been clintonized right by shooting himself eight times in the back yep suicided yeah or suicide yep suicide crazy we're laughing at it but the clinton death sheet is enormous right cold hunter hey chicho you aware of the clown world and the honkler meme from fortran that is making fun of the world we live in no i haven't seen those clown world and hunkler no i don't know those cold hunter should i look those up i don't know, post them in uh, politics or something in the discord in the politics discord uh, that way i'm not in danger of uh, uh, disconnecting the live stream i'm not connected directly to the modem right now i had to move the modem because tomorrow we're in the patio so i was testing the system making sure that going uh, doing a live stream without being directly connected connected is still gonna work Trump's message is much weaker now though he hasn't brought much change uh, make America great again keep America great uh, racer kill he's done uh, more for the American working class than Obama did so uh, I think he's done more for the American working class than Obama did when Obama and Clinton were coming on and saying we're doing great the economy is great the American working class was what are you talking about what right so he's done certain things he's trying to make peace I don't know if it's legit like Obama making peace with Iran I don't know right who's really in control of the United States is it President Bolton right because it wasn't Bush Jr. foreign policy was not Bush Jr.'s responsibility. Foreign policy was President Cheney's responsibility, right? Obama and Clinton, they divvied out, they divided out the responsibility of foreign policy. Obama had his kill list, killing people, and Clinton was around starting wars, right? I really wish that when the uh, 
Dems lost in 2006 that they looked internally at the problem with the party not trying to turn the other party into the devil yeah or bring up Russiagate like what are you guys talking about like boogeyman what like Hollywood Russia evil what 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 I mean I know people who actually believe that garbage I was like what do you look we can't talk anymore you're totally brainwashed stop it right like older people younger people the younger people no no one really believes that the older people chicho who do you think is the best person to be our president right now uh, mike gravel and tulsi gabbard uh, personally if they would ever come back i would take ron paul and dennis kucinich dude a spider right now if if they said if they said okay ron paul and dennis kucinich are forming a party they're going to run for president and start a party and these are all the people they're putting into the different districts that are going to be voting and stuff like this and you know for congress for two years later and all the joke of the elections and stuff man ron paul dennis kucinich if they ever do it they won't right next closest best thing is tulsi gabbard and mike gravel time for bed good night wades good night wades thank you very much for the for the sub hope you have sweet dreams man i'm well aware of honker and whatnot the fact that they can poke so many holes in the democratic party's position i just wish it wasn't so full-on blatant racism is it okay clown world meme is not terribly complicated it's almost like nihilism trying to uh, treating the world we live in like some ridiculous comedy and just finding humor and everything even bad stuff sort of sort of uh, if i'm powerless to change the world then i can sit back and laugh at it yeah I don't know if I would like that that much. We're not powerless. We were very powerful. We're very powerful. Ralph Nader showed that, right? Ralph Nader showed that by coming together, forming groups and communities and collectives, you can bring about major change. Yeah, though, like anything from Fortran, uh, it gets racism mixed in. Sure and i would go beyond that i would say uh, though like anything from the real world racism can be mixed in right that's a great way to put it though like anything from fortune trump's re-election machine is unstoppable raising more than 16 million dollars 16 160 million plus um already 36 men in the past few weeks and will only continue which is unprecedented for any sitting president he did something extremely smart he started his fundraising as soon as he was elected whereas past presidents have waited till after the midterms now money is not not everything and now money is not everything when it comes to elections but it's a huge part yeah silver money rules the uh, united states anyway almost 50 years since the moon landing but did it happen the first one who knows the subsequent ones yeah i think they landed a few times i looked at that stuff a while ago moon landing bro space is not even real <laughs> i love it <laughs> gotta love it To be fair most people don't have the knowledge to make any judgment whether space or whatever exists yeah or the scientific mathematic background right that's the kicker right like the one thing uh, i found with people who believe in certain things right uh, imagine if we're actually living in an enclosed system a dome let's say on a flat plane i think the classic 
a classical argument if the moon landing didn't happen then the soviet union would have said something is good enough racer kill that's pretty good point pretty good point that's a great argument i've never heard that before that's what the bible says the firmament first one was to scare the russians into giving up yeah i believe so martin our hunker our were nihilist subreddits oh they were on reddit and made many good points but there was a lot of bullshit racism as a canadian i can't stand for that we are beautiful mix of ethnicities who stand for freedom uh king canada uh, for me i can i can i go to forums okay where there are certain racist comments and racist content if you totally disengage from people who have distorted views of reality then you're handing them over to the extremists right so they have to be challenged they have the dialogue has to has to be open right dude i've had people in canada tell me to speak english in their country where i've gotten into fights with them and they've told my mom and grandma and stuff like this racists are real they exist totally disengaging with them is not the solution engaging with them is a solution cutting off platforms to their lies rhetoric misconceptions stupidity is the wrong decision i think everything should be open other than just blatant you know there are certain things for sure like i banned a couple of people here right? <laughs> so i could make the argument that okay this is our house so it's not an open forum it's our house right so we're not you know that but the truth is you also have to be real about what it is you're saying and how you're engaging right uh, I just, I just well, I'm older I got a thicker skin I've had to put up with racism all my life right so I realized just ignoring them or fighting them physically is not the solution you have to engage them challenge them make them realize how stupid they are right and if they don't want to realize it that's okay if it's on an open forum there are other people reading it and maybe you save that one kid that 10 year old that might be reading this stuff that all of a sudden goes hey wait a second this guy has a point what and then they start questioning we can't create bubbles i might have gone off on that a little bit brother but i just have to say it right they faked it to win very american that's funny like said earlier though it's always worth separating the concept from the people and then looking at it there's always bound to be racist people but things they could uh, could get involved with don't automatically make those things racist sura per surua very well put agreed agreed it's just those people coloring what they get involved with yeah that's why when trudeau said we have uh, no uh, national identity it really pissed me yeah trudeau is a clown right but is he is he worse than the conservative clowns no uh, he's better than the conservative clowns i wish uh, jack layton was still around i wish jack layton was still around we do we are a, a nation of immigrants we should be proud of that yeah king canada we definitely have a canadian nationality like identity 100 percent, and nationality i um i tell people I've, I've mentioned this to people a lot um i'm west coast canadian right canadian in general we have a certain a certain mindset there are pockets of anomalies racists and separatists and exceptionalist and all this jazz but if you take a broad stroke 
across Canada, there is a certain vibe that comes out. There's definitely 100% a national identity. All right, almost 3 a.m., a lot of work in five hours. Oh, no, Silva. Catch you later. Have a great evening. You too. And uh, hope you have good, fast sleep, powerful sleep. Okay. And a great work day tomorrow. Tomorrow is a holiday here. It's Canada Day or Cannabis Day. Engaging racists makes sense because if you shun them or deplatform or censor them, that uh, can lead to extremism or even violence down the road. 100%. They get forced out of places so they cluster among their own kind in echo chambers. 100% agreed. 100% agreed. I think the last decade has done a lot to breed racism racism i think it's done a lot to bring racism to the forefront racism was there has been there for a very very long time okay racism stops when people believe they are the same that's why there isn't much racism between white people with say blonde or brown hair they imagine themselves as the same but lately a lot of uh, movement even those who stand against racism intentionally create uh, authorization of different ethnic groups against the white majorities in western countries racer kill 100% agreed they're basically and that's being done from centralized power right they're trying to divide and conquer us Wilhelm Reich in this mass psychology of fascism uh, he tackles the subject right he talks about this how how the central power does this to a certain degree right i heard mongolia is quite racist dangerous for tourists i don't know i've worked with mongolian once she made a lot of jokes about the mongolian empire going into villages and cutting people off and dragging them by their entrails behind their horses i was like what and she was a female right she would laugh uh -huh. i was like damn that's nasty also engaging them it should be easy because they're racist i mean if you can't if you can't out argue a nazi well <laughs> i like the way i like your arguments man i like the way you put things the best disinfectant is sunlight yeah yeah. oh that's a great saying king canada i grew up in quebec there is massive racism there yeah that's a great saying in regards to put them in the light the best disinfectant is sunlight i'm gonna try to remember that king canada the quebecois who wants to separate since before i was born canada is not perfect but to me it's better than most other countries because of our tolerance what's up in canada quebec represents uh, hey P D D qc warrior right on right on awesome i should have read the name first nice man nah, we're into two hours crazy time flies salute salute mon ami oh you're back i'm blind man <laughs> i gave up <laughs> dinner was good though <laughs> one blind man and gave up good 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 i'm glad you enjoyed your dinner man awesome awesome you came in time for the closing right we're into our second hour my our patio's lush green man i set up the uh so tomorrow 7 a.m i gotta get up at like 5 30 6 o'clock to set things up a little bit not that I have to get up. I usually up at that early anyway. So an hour after I get up, I'm going to go set up for a 7 o'clock session. Uh, so tomorrow, most likely, I'm going to try to... I'll show you guys some of the plants that we have. We're going to do some... I don't know if we'll do any potting. We've bought some little plants that we're going to, uh, we're going to try to pot. Um, I just want to show you the patio. And at some point this year, we don't have a barbecue. Uh, we've been barbecued at friends' places and relatives' places. But... This year we're gonna get a barbecue and i'll show you guys uh my shish kebab recipes that they're fantastic i make good kebabs chicken kebab beef kebab and hamburger kebabs like 
ground beef kebabs very very delicious so hopefully this summer we'll get a chance to do that so this will be our first live stream tomorrow in the patio and hopefully uh weather permitting it might be a little windy we'll see i've set it up that early because that way the sun is not going to hit the camera otherwise it would have to be later on and stuff like this uh, but we'll do more any advice on growing spider plants my your spider plants died dude i got <laughs> if you were here i would give you spider spider plants don't need any care king canada they don't water them very much that's one thing the main reason that many plants house plants die is because of over watering so don't water them very much water them maybe once a week if you want if the peak hot season maybe twice one once every two days once every three days but make sure the soil gets dry right like we have i don't know how many spider plants one two three four five six i got six in my line of sight and one of them is huge the two of them are huge two one huge one medium size and stuff regarding the honker stuff honk honkler i don't want it because it it somewhat aligns uh with what i understand of this world we live in politics everywhere are affected effed up and i despise politics in its current state in almost every aspect uh oops and i am a person who also has a small amount of political knowledge or skill as for fortran being racist or not in my opinion most of the time they say all those things just because of some random social justice warriors being there it makes fortran look like they they really are racist kebabs martin you dude you will love these kebabs you'll love them i'm an advocate of free speech above all me too racist or not i don't care me too cold hunter i agree with you 100 percent. it's all for nothing if you don't have freedom yeah but that's why that's my take on this huge world we live in ah, okay i think that's what i did wrong yeah yeah you must have overwatered uh king canada don't water too much if you put them in a small pot right when the roots get tangled like they don't have room to grow they'll start giving off lots of shoots so that way you can collect the shoots when they give roots you can put the shoots in water if you want to propagate your uh, spider spider plants propagate like mad like really <laughs> there's a reason we have like i don't know at least eight nine spider plants of course journalists are going to seek out the absolute worst post even obvious troll post they can find on fortran to paint it as a, a den of a degenerates also sometimes even the journalists themselves actually make the post they write yeah yeah and one thing like the forum i go to it's not a forum it's, a, it's like a platform and it's the vote by the way if you if you want to know i go to vote right At certain subs right so i go to vote racism there posts are crazy some of it like it's insane right sometimes i engage them i just usually downvote them right the racism i've seen on vote is more than the one i saw on fortran right only in certain subreds sub votes or vote i forget what they're called i've been there from early on i've been there for a few years now right as soon as another option was available i went there as well i'm still on reddit but not very much only three or four two three subreddits right on vote i'm only on two okay two or three right i also go to set it i'm on two right we have our discord page i go to so go expose yourself to the different mindsets that are out there right it's always easy to find the worst of something say a movement and a paint wider range of people 
uh, as a sam by the way chicho do you make a mean uh lamajun no no i don't know how to make lamajun but we will someday lamajun is more eastern armenian or more western armenian i didn't grow up eating lamajun but i love it. it tastes so good i can't get any here freedom of speech above all else yeah fbi shit posting now that's something i uh i like to see i wonder if they do good green text <laughs> yeah hey buddy jared forge jared Fogel. how are you doing welcome welcome vote is cesspool i left reddit for vote and i couldn't stand the bullshit depending on king can depending on where you are right the comments horrendous some of the posts horrendous not some there's a lot of posts that are horrendous right but there are gems there there are certain things you're going to see on there which you can't see in other places right and not because they're racist it's just because they're more alternate than other places right now we're at a time where you have to for me anyway i have to sample what's out there because it's been so divided there's so much censorship that you have to go to some of these bubbles and get their perspective because there's a reason why it exists did you see the meeting between the u.s president and north yeah did miles how are you doing how's life yeah saw him step over walk shake hands and do a little press conference important moment we talked about this a little earlier by the way not sure how much they do but like last week it was a show some uh foil documents where the fbi used fortran as proof and the pictures and the documents the post they use that you indicators meaning <laughs> they themselves posted the stuff much of morons seriously but the kicker is they're presenting the stuff to congress or supreme courts or whatever it is that know less about technology the internet than they do right crazy i'm a bit racist i love black cats <laughs> white ones freak me out <laughs> martin says <laughs> I haven't used Fortran much recently. Yeah, I haven't gone there for a long time. Fortran, Natran. I went there for a little bit. It's just so much you can check, right? But most people on Fortran are just lonely people, normally social outcasts, and the internet lets them all gather together, which is Cold Hunter, which is perfectly fine. That's their community. That's their community. A any community. If that's the type of people that are there, they're enjoying themselves let them enjoy themselves what's the problem right and i know you're you're okay with it by the way this is not directed at you it's just a general comment right not as much anymore damn normally flooding in recently oh, <laughs> i've seen lots of people give up on the idea of killing themselves because of an anonymous comment awesome awesome that's also very true and most of the time they are just doing memes really bad ones i thought most people go to fortran for porn you can go anywhere for porn the internet you can get porn anywhere like girl posted i loved it when it was uh at age can you link some of the forums you follow arthene uh comic book forums on reddit valiant forum on reddit uh I go to world politics on a vote, uh, conspiracy on a vote, uh, conspiracy on Reddit, um, world politics and conspiracy on Reddit. Uh, those are the main ones. And plus, sometimes you can actually, and I should put disclaimers in there, but I won't. Right? It's, there's disclaimers in there, but I won't. Uh, and plus sometimes you can actually have some decent discussion with other people from all sides of the world i've learned uh, certain things from racists as well right so it's not just about educating
people you disagree with or you think they have a wrong perspective or you think that are racist it's also learning from them why do they have that perspective what do they know that i may not know what made them that like you learn from them right by engaging okay i will check it out i really can't stand blatant racism though because to me I'll, there's a lot of blatant blatant racism on on vote i'll tell you that right off the bank back in canada you don't have to go there brother there's so many there's so many amazing places to acquire news and information and engage that you don't have to expose yourself to crap that you really don't want to because there's a lot of stupid people around right uh it's pure stupidity yeah it's pure stupidity mind you i love a good racist show because you should all be able to laugh to themselves on the topic of racism i just don't agree with this fixation as it being the prime evil i, I don't think uh, racer kill i don't think it's the prime evil personally personally i don't think racism is the primary evil of the world personally i don't see racism as different from other group conflicts in a lot of religions in the world there are groups who hate each other various reasons say religious the <laughs> effect is almost entirely the same as those of racism in the end is a group of people who imagine themselves as different which leads to groups of conflict yeah i don't think uh, personally i don't think racism is the greatest evil in the world not by a long shot greed maybe is it i don't know it's okay to be greedy sometimes i don't think there's the greatest evil i think maybe the benign uh things uh like when you see evil you don't speak out that's a great evil that's one of the greatest evils you could you could commit right if you see war crimes taking place and you say it's okay right which is my opinion is the better path to reaching a real conclusion to the subject fair enough fuck racism no. <laughs> fuck racism <laughs> i go to fortran for just some to think news <laughs> because because so many people post from all over the world yeah and that's super important uh, super important you get the breaking news headline news and the real news not the cnn filtered news or the fox filtered news or whatever filtered news whenever something is happening it gets posted right away most of the time it's faster up to date on the news uh, than dedicated news networks uh, you just have to learn to either grow thick skin to the offensive stuff or learn to sit through it for the content yeah and also you learn once you're on a forum you learn which posts are garbage and which posts aren't right you start following not following but recognizing users that are posting relevant important information and the type of titles they put on them so it's just like the real world right you use a filter when you see someone with a baseball bat with nails sticking out of it swinging out like this you go okay maybe i'm not gonna go talk to that person right you go over here talk to the person handing out cake right so you slowly learn hey chicho what is your opinion on the n-word being taboo on social media and on it being acceptable to be said by black women? you know what dude i don't say it anymore because dude, because <laughs> period right but to me i don't focus on words right man you should hear the things people have called me right sometimes i count on them sometimes i laugh i engage them sometimes the kicker is all these people that are fixated on the n-word they're okay with destroying libya they don't know that libya got destroyed right but they'll they'll bring out the pitchforks and hang you for anyone that uses the n-word right how's that logic how's that how's that play out right i don't get it i think it's completely stupid no word should be uh property of anyone let alone a race yeah i agree with you cold hunter right and i know th there's white people that use the n-word uh rappers use the n-word right 
some rappers say no you shouldn't there there are black rappers that say no i'll never use that word again all right and they have good reason they say why they would never use that word again and i agree with them right they don't want to use it fantastic they've convinced me maybe not maybe do there are other rappers that say ah, what are you kidding me i can use whatever I want. they use it and they make good arguments right so it's a personal choice period no matter its meaning no matter its meaning i mean lots of black people say pigs to police officers yeah and crackers to white people do they because we are white like cracker <laughs> that cracks me up cracker comes from the whip sound is that what it is oh cracker comes from the whip sound i've heard that from some black friends they say uh, they only say white like a cracker because it's a less shocking to hear oh really at least that's what i heard i personally do not care anything about race or people it's the ideas and beliefs of people that i will uh, judge them on and their action their actions i'm glad you put the actions in there cold hunter it's their actions that matter a lot yeah like there are people that talk a fine talk right but shh, what they do is horrendous yeah i've heard that before as well oh yeah fortran when any word uh when any world event happens it's much faster than most news places i still think racism is bad <laughs> racism is bad right miles racism don't be racist what are you an idiot you hate people because of their eye color their hair color their skin color their religion the food they eat the where they live like what kind of a retard are you right especially if you're committing violence against like what okay you are in desperate need of serious entheogen reprogramming right but it doesn't mean you should ban them from society they exist we have to question why do they exist and it's all economic based it's it's really economic based right even here it says the the arguments it talks about the fascists and stuff like this and uh, it's explaining the, the the rise of fascism and what took place and stuff like that and there's a lot of dialogue goes in there that the the main driving force behind that was economic to a certain degree okay and then they came up with philosophy with the gene pool getting this and the, the polluted and, and and then you any scientist any mathematician you, you look at that stuff you find a hole in it like this big right no we're, we're like way beyond past <laughs> way beyond past eight hours of time nicholas thanks brother sure i think we gotta call the stream chicho overtime bonus uh, <laughs> race is always bad unless it is to do the skull you know what the skull the scrolls brother then it's okay check this out one of the i don't have it here one of the old school fantastic four that i read with the scrolls and the uh, scree oh god the, whatever the other ones right you always thought scrolls were the bad guys right and then oh no it was a fan the, the Mar captain marvel movie and you saw it in the comic books as well where you find out oh the other race was really bad trying to scapegoat these guys and stuff so there's always always a different perspective when i'm with my friends i guess is in, in portugal not as taboo as well the n-word uh doesn't exist in portugal but i use it on the internet a lot just for the fact that it's taboo just to spite people <laughs> let words hurt them yeah cold hunter for me i wouldn't do that personally why throw gasoline on a fire right which you know the fire is burning the place down right no one will stop me for saying whatever i want sure but cold hunter can you say things in a more productive way more in a way that's going to have a bigger impact on them than just engaging their triggers right plant seeds in there that 
will last with these people much longer than triggering them right so you can poke them all you want right if that's the joy you get who says you know we're supposed to dictate to you how you should enjoy the internet right or enjoy your life or interact in your life right in the real world you might get punched in the face a few times right online you might piss off the wrong person they might figure out where you are and send you some viruses right or whatever else but there are better ways to live your life really there are better ways to live your life it's a matter of choice racism is a weapon of the uneducated when you have nothing left to attack with martin well said right there really is too much focus on surface level image in this in this view clinton is good she constantly talks about various topics of progressism and so on racism isn't even that effective on a weapon to, to be honest Cree, the Cree. that's right thanks nicholas <laughs> the Cree. i can't believe i i was calling it scree the Cree. defending the scrolls sounds like scroll talk to me fun i mean if someone arguments something against you to attack da, 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 da. so i'm gonna skip down a little bit gang cold hunter not that i would want to just go around triggering people but people who are like that and get triggered by everything sometimes they really could use some uh this this disincentives that i feel you i have engaged in certain activities to trigger people as well i think they call us trolls every now and then but in real life as well in gatherings but uh that's just fun uh there are better ways if you really want to bring about change there are better ways to engage people and i suppose on the internet it is called a way of doing that i'm exhausted now okay martin we gotta call it gang thank you for being here okay uh thanks for sticking around conversations got all weird a little bit went on the racism route this is the longest discussion we've had on racism that's popped up in our on our channel I'm not sure how we dealt with it. Hopefully, we dealt with it okay. Uh, I think so, anyway. Uh, hopefully, anyway. And as someone mentioned, uh, fuck racism. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and if you're racist, fuck you too. <laughs> okay. I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> night chat good night everyone good night and if you can make it i'll see you guys tomorrow in the patio okay bye for now